Another review last year confirmed that pork tapeworms taking residence inside our brains is a significant public health issue within the United States. At first, though, clinical diagnosis can be challenging. Initial presentations of the disease are often vague, complaints like uh, headaches, weakness, dizziness, high blood pressure. In terms of Treatment in a series of more than 100 cases published this year, although antiparasitic deworming drugs were found to be effective, about 10% of victims require brain surgery, uh, what's called an open craniotomy, uh, where you have to go in and basically just dig them out. They can get into our muscles, too. This is an x-ray of someone's leg, and you can see how infested the muscle is, and that's why we can get it from pork, because it gets into muscles. But what if you don't eat pig muscles? Well, to all the smug non-pork eaters out there, if we can find pork tapeworms in the brains of Orthodox Jews in Brooklyn, we can find pork tapeworms in anyone. They weren't sneaking off for schnitzel. It was their pork-eating domestic houseworkers preparing their food. When 1,700 members of the local synagogue were tested, 1% tested positive. The researchers suggested that those to be employed as domestic workers or food handlers should be screened for tapeworm infection via examination of three stool samples for tapeworm eggs. So to avoid the number one cause of adult-onset epilepsy, we may want to not eat pork and not eat anything made by anyone who eats pork.